What up, though? It's your boy Jay Hustle. I'm in line getting some Burger King. And um, hope everybody doing well. Uh, first things first, sorry I did not make a part two of the SOS house. Um, it came out nice. I know a lot of people was asking me, texting me about it. It came out nice. I did post it, uh, the pictures on my Instagram, uh, Untouch LLC. My Instagram is Untouch LLC. If you're not subscribed to my Instagram, follow it. I follow a lot of you guys on Instagram, uh, beyond uh, YouTube when I can get on. Um, yeah, but it came out real nice, man. The, the client was real happy. It was a good lick. And uh, that guy, I've been working with him for a while. He's He owns his own real estate company. And he's always he's always buying up stuff all the time, man. He's, he's always buying properties and stuff he needs me to take care of. And um, I took care of him on that one. He was happy again. So, yeah, it came out good. It was a good profit in it, $550. Uh, I spent $100 on labor with it. I paid my guy about $100 to help me do it. But it was a, it was a tough little project, but we knocked it out. Uh, it really didn't take us that long, honestly. Uh, it, I had to go back for the second day, but that was my fault because I forgot something. But other than that, it came out nice, man. It came out nice. <laughs> Let me get a rodeo stacker, uh, a single, and make that, put an onion ring with it and a small, and make it a small with a Sprite. That's it, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't edit videos. So whatever y'all see going on, this high road throughout my day. Cause I honestly don't have time, but I respect everybody that do have time to do it. So going back to what we was talking about, uh, leaf cleanup season, man, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, baby. Y'all got it together, get it together, baby, get it together. If you wasting time, I don't know what you waiting on. I know I've been check, I've been doing a, uh, I've been doing checks on all my equipment. I'm changing the oil on everything. I'm sharpening blades. I'm getting ready, baby. We got a, my goal this year for leaf cleanup. I'm gonna set my goals high, man. My, my goal for leaf cleaning, leaf cleanup season is gonna be uh, it's gonna be ten thousand, man. I want to make ten thousand. That's not gonna be ten thousand profit, but I want to make ten thousand in sales. I'm gonna give it a shot this year. Last year, I did pretty good. I don't know my numbers last year. I should have kept up with them, but I didn't. But last year, we made we made good, man. We made out good. I, I don't know. I can't remember the number on it. But we made out good on leaf cleanup last year. I was, I was running. I was probably running. I was probably running about $500 a day. And that was only like maybe two or three cleanups. So I think... I think we can make the 10,000. I got my signs out there. I'm advertising more. And um, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. I did not, I wanted to make one more purchase, but I, I didn't really, I'm not gonna say I didn't have it in the budget, but I didn't redeem it necessary this time. Cause my goal this year is I wanna cater to I want to cater to the communities where I only have to blow them to the curve. I don't want to, if I got to bag it, I'll do that. But I'm catering to the high end communities where all I got to do is just blow it right in the street and the city come pick it up. So in Michigan, that would be considered Birmingham, Lathrop, Oak Park, Livonia. You know, that's as far as I extend out on that. So, uh, yeah. So that's my goal. My base price for a cleanup this year is gonna be two two fifty. 
them corner houses i'm gonna hit them hard this year y'all i'm gonna hit them corner houses so hard you got them corner houses i'm going i'm going shoot them corner houses man i'm going 300 350 baby maybe maybe might even get a full ball out of one of them but them corner houses man y'all gotta charge for them corner houses don't get them don't get them corner houses no breaks man no breaks on them corner houses bro i'm telling you don't do it jay hustle said them corner houses they gots to pay this year they gots to pay corner houses gots to pay say it with me them corner houses got to pay all right because man them corner houses man you know how them boys is so that's my goal my base price for a cleanup this year i'm gonna try to get 250 which i feel is very attainable and i feel as though that's respectful to do a quality leaf cleanup for the front and the backyard if it's not over if it's if it's under an acre or not a corner house you know what i'm saying if you going if you got a whole acre of land i'm talking some money I'm talking some money damn you know what i'm saying two acres you know you're talking some money you know that's a different price scale and that's a different uh that's a different operation but everybody else that's under an acre and that's not a corner house um, we're gonna run them up for about two two fifty and it shouldn't and my base time for a cleanup should be about two hours <clears throat> sometime you go into two and a half three but if you if you looking at a cleanup that you think is gonna take you more than two hours and we all know them cleanups do take longer than what we expect let's just be real we make videos and stuff sometimes it's say two hours or whatever man we know them leaf cleanups they could take some time bro they could take some time but the majority of time i can if you can get out of a cleanup in less than three hours and make about 200 profit you did damn good you did damn good you did damn good in my book you're doing good um this is probably gonna be probably my last month cut probably gonna be my last month cut if i do cut in november it's gonna be very light it's gonna be very light because i usually shut it down come october up here in Michigan, I usually shut it down. It's people right now need to leaf clean up, but they're not gonna call me because they're gonna wait till it fall down. Uh, so yeah, but I'm shutting it down. I'm shutting down all grass cutting come probably into October, man. And it's been a it's been a good year for me though. It's been a good year for me. I learned a lot of things. I, I made some significant upgrades. I didn't. I don't think I made too many mistakes this year. I did make a couple, but I didn't make anything. Uh, I don't think I made anything super drastic like I did last year. I kept my profits high and everything. I didn't have a whole bunch of equipment break on me this year. Uh, I did recently have to put my snowblower back in the shop because I couldn't get it to start and I tried it but hopefully the guy he won't tax me too hard uh but yeah i did have to put it back in the shop last time i put it in the shop it was 300 dollars. so hopefully he don't charge me another 300 dollars. because i need that snow blower i need it snow removal snow removal what y'all doing about snow removal my base price for snow removal this year it's gonna be forty-five to fifty dollars. Whatever I'm trying to keep it where all my clients who they who pay me for grass, I'm trying to keep that same price for the snow. So ninety percent of my clients pay me more than forty-five dollars. So that's what it's gonna be. You know, people feel more comfortable coming to you with a straight flat rate. I understand you can't do that for everybody, but the majority of the people that I can do it for, I will try to accommodate that. I've been getting calls. I've been getting more calls really about snow. People think in Michigan it's gonna be a bad winter. 
I hope it is, man. I hope it is, because last year we didn't get none. We didn't get no snow last year, man. So. Yeah. I think I think I'm only gonna do 25 houses this year. And that's still a lot because y'all yeah, notice E not next to me. E, he didn't came up on some money and he feel like he don't wanna work. So gotta do it yourself y'all that's why I'm here today and I'm doing this by myself ain't no big deal it is what it is baby and we gonna get it done and uh, that's what it is man so let me know which y'all plans for the fall cleanup for the snow are you gonna do fall cleanups are you gonna do the snow uh, how you guys ended the season did you make out with better than you did last year did you break even were you did you make profit you didn't make profit did you make some mistakes let me know inbox me message me i try to hit everybody else up when i can up here in detroit man we doing good the weather is good it's looking nice i got plenty of leaves on the ground right now uh, doing good man doing good um uh, most importantly make sure you vote man make sure you vote um there's a lot of there's a lot of people in the African-American community and minority communities think that your vote does not count. Your vote does count. Um, make sure you vote. I'm not going to get political, but just make sure you vote, man. Uh, we live in a, we living in a funny time right now where uh, I think the people have to... Uh, have to take responsibility for their communities and for your family and for uh, your neighborhoods and things like that so make sure you vote man that's very important i gotta go kind of far to vote i don't like voting over the mail but this this uh election is is very important man in so many ways and i think it's imperative vital and essential that everybody no matter what your color, background, ethnicity, whatever it is, I think it's important to vote. Hey, and on that note, stay strapped, stay blessed, stay thinking positive. It's your boy Jay Hustle. One, deuces. We out.